Hi there, my name is Moella and in this tutorial I want to do a little modification in our previous project and then we try to log all the names from database in basic for Android. The first point is about this cursor here. If you want only to use your project in basic for Android, using cursor is okay. But if you want to make your project compatible with basic for iPhone and basic for Java, you need to use result set instead of cursor. So let's remove this line and use result set instead. So I recommend using result set instead of cursor. Now we want to log all the names instead of showing the first name in activity title. To do that, first we need a for statement. So this way, our for loop statement can continue up to the last row but because it starts from zero we need to deduct one number from total number of our row count in previous example we just wanted to show the first name in the list of items so we made the position of result set to zero now we want all the names, so each time we need a new position for result set. This way we can do it. This way we change the position of result set each time equal to i, which gets new number in each cycle of for a statement. Now we can log name field. And we can comment these two lines. Let's run the application. Very good. As you see, we have all the names here. We can have age field too. So let's do it. Because the type of age field is integer we need to use get int instead let's run the application again you can see the result here so far we used for a statement but better practice is to use do while instead of for a statement so let's do it As you can guess, we can have our loop each time that a next row exists. This time, we don't need to change the position of result set each time. The only thing that we need is logging name and age. So let's copy them from here. And let's comment the previous line. Let's rerun the application. As you see, we almost have the same result. As our last point in this session, let's talk about a common problem that, for example, they change something in database, but they don't find the changes in their application. Let's see how to solve it. Let's go to the database and change something. Let's open the database with DB Browser. Let's add another row to our database. And now we can close and save the database.
Let's rerun the application. As you see, you cannot see the new item here. Let's stop the application. The problem is here. It only copies the database on the first run of the application. If I run the application again, because the file is already there, it doesn't copy the new database. One solution can be clearing the cache of your application on your phone. The other solution is changing the name. Maybe it's not the best practice, but that's faster. Let's rerun the application and you see the new name here. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please follow my other tutorials and do not forget to subscribe in my channel and let me know if you have any question about this tutorial.